What's up guys and girls, Kurt here. And today I'm going to talk to you about creating your NFT and ultimately your idea and analyzing your idea. So look, if you don't have an idea, you basically need to start like brainstorming. Get some pen and paper, write down as many ideas as you can. Okay. First of all, you need to know what sort of NFT you're going to make. Are you going to make a profile picture NFT? Are you going to be looking at some sort of NFT with a metaverse function or gaming function? Uh, or are you an artist who's already got masterpieces and future masterpieces that you can turn into NFTs? Right, you need to figure out what is it you want to give to the NFT community. And I urge you to think about it like that. What can you give? Uh, what value can you bring to the market? It's no good to just come along with a piece of artwork and say, hey, this is amazing, guys, buy it. Okay, What's your value? Uh, and if you're an artist, your value is that you know, you're an artist. Uh, this is like the vibe you give to the world, the beauty that you give to the world. But if you're looking at like gaming function NFTs, metaverse function, what is the function? Okay, If you're looking at profile picture NFTs, are you just, uh, have you just got a picture of an ape? Or do you have an ape with some sort of um, membership base? Like, can I go to the bathroom and draw pictures? Okay. What can I do with my NFT? So, it's important to have a good idea. And to get a good idea, you need to search different marketplaces. Alright, so, assuming you don't have an idea, go to... Uh, Google search for NFT marketplace and find the top 10 or the top 20 different marketplaces and try to find marketplaces on different ecosystems as well don't just stick to say OpenSea okay which is ethereum based uh, look at other other platforms different ecosystems Solana immutable X etc and try to do as much research as you can to the different types of art there are and even the functions that come with them uh, and get a get an idea okay assuming you don't have one now assuming you do have one do the same process go and do the research have a look okay get onto Twitter uh, and look for look at uh, NFT groups get on a Facebook look at NFT groups there's a lot of people sharing their their NFT ideas okay and the evolution of their NFTs so you can already see and compare uh, and look at so-called competitors, right? To analyze whether your idea is good. Right? You also need to analyze whether you can actually do it. And this goes back to the past, um, the past video. Okay? Is it viable financially? Can you, or is your idea financially viable? Is it viable uh, with time? All of these factors uh, are things that you need to look at. The other thing I urge you to do is really look within your heart and to your authenticness to find what is really within you. I urge you to be creative. I urge you to invite the inner child into the project. Making NFTs is like being a, a kid again. It feels great. And you've got complete creative freedom. Think about what you want to give to the world. And it could be something totally, totally like, wow, something out of this world. And now is the time to implement that into your NFT idea. Now, when you're doing your research and brainstorming, you're going to be looking at a name for your NFT. So you've got the idea, but what's the name? And that's going to be part of your idea generation. Now, some of the things I like to do is, first of all, once I've got a name, I want to first look at domain names is the domain name available are there alternative domain names available if it's not and i can tell you now from from my uh, experience it's quite difficult to find a perfect name it always has been because there's people who have just bought up all the domain names uh, and there's so many different businesses out there already so i urge you to find a unique name one that you can use uh, and get a .com domain, which is pretty much top level domain. Uh, you can obviously go with like a secondary domain, a .io or something else for that matter. 
But if you really want to have the biggest impact, you want to find a unique name uh, and one that you can use a .com and get a top level domain with. Now, sometimes that's really difficult and it's just going to take lots of brainstorming and your ability to also let go of past ideas and evolve. If your business name and business idea doesn't feel right, you need to go back and continue to evolve and just map it all out. Remember, you need patience. So this is part of the process. You can also look at, say, a thesaurus. So for example, you, you're developing something on, let me just say dog, and you, you know, it's like dog something is, is, is taken. So you can type in the thesaurus and look at other words, canine, mutt, pooch, uh, man's best friend. You know, you can look at other phrases and words that you could use to name your NFT. In this process, don't be shy to talk to your friends, family and team members about your idea. Ultimately, you want to get some advice or get other people's opinions. And you need to know that you don't know it all. You don't have all the answers. Other people have got great, great ideas. And by listening to others and seeing what they want, you can really gain a lot of insight. Now, you can do surveys and things as well. You can go into the groups and ask questions. Uh, you might want to be a little bit vague about it initially, or you might just want to be upfront. That's up to you. But I do urge you that I, I do urge you to have a solid idea before you start going out there. Now, you must protect your idea, and this is all part of it, from the domain name, the NFT name, uh, to the NFT idea. For example, yesterday I was in a chat in an NFT group on Facebook. And some guy posted some bulls and he's like, what do you think of my bulls? And I'm like, they, they look great. They're really nice. They remind me of boss bulls. And he's like, oh, really? Sad face. And then I had to say, hey, man, it's, you know, it's all good. You didn't know about them. Uh, at the end of the day, there's so many different apes. I don't think it really matters. I think what matters ultimately is function. What else is there? And he was like, thanks, bro. And it's the truth. But if you want to have something that's completely unique and that really matters, so you're not just going to go and make another ape or another bull, okay? You want to make sure that you know about these competitors, okay? For example, you might say, say you might want the domain name bossbull.com, all right? Or, or you just went along and you bought the bossbull.io, but you didn't realize that the bossbull.com was taken and someone else was developing their own boss bull NFT. So all of a sudden you've got two boss bulls on the market and it's all because you didn't do your research and look at your competitors. Once you've brainstormed, once you've discussed it with other people, once you've really internalized it, the next real step would be to do some market research. And you've done a little already by looking at your competitors, looking at what's available on the market. Uh, and you can really delve into this a lot further. So basic market research means looking at the industry, looking at what's out there, looking at the sort of things that you're offering or doing or trying to solve with your NFT and doing it through various different ways. You can do it through surveys. You can do it through discussion groups. You can go through looking at uh, Discord channels. You can uh, look at YouTube videos and look through the comments. Uh, there's just so much market research you, you can do. Actually, I'll be making a video on market research and we'll be going over some of the same points from this video, but we'll be elaborating even further. So stay tuned for that one. This step is all about the idea and ensuring that the idea is protected, ensuring that the idea is unique and something close to your heart. Anyway, we're going to go further with this in future videos. Thank you very much. I'll see you soon.